the move towards spring continues. The bees are bringing in lots of pollen, but I just wanted to point something out to you guys. Okay, you see this. So this is bees returning with pollen. Some have more, some have less. Now, often this time of year, like this here, you'll see a bee on the ground with pollen on its legs, dead. Now, you've got to remember that these bees that are working now were made last October, September time. So if you see a few dead bees with pollen on them, it's usually for two reasons. One, they've gone out and it's cold, which it often is at the moment. And when they come back, they've got super chilled and often they don't make it back to the hive. But if that's the case, it's also often because they're old bees and they're at the end of their life cycle. So don't go thinking, oh, these bees, they must have been poisoned by pesticides. Don't go to all those conclusions that there's something wrong with your bees when they're foraging. It's just normal part of the life cycle. Look at these coming back in. Lots of pollen. They're slow. They're not moving very quick. They're literally at the point of not being able to fly, but they're continuing to fly. So go away with that in mind. Go away, be more positive. Don't blame everything on the fact that your bees are dead because they are dead because they're just exhausted and it's the end of their life cycle and they've been there the whole winter and it's cold. We get this every year, every year. But look at that, they're doing their job, they're doing sterling work, doing their best they can and just getting out there and foraging when they can. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's three different colors there. I don't know what that color is, that dark brown. We've got light yellow, dark yellow. The dark yellow I would imagine is probably gorse. The light yellow is the rapeseed. But just give them the realization that they're doing the best they can against all the conditions. When we pop in for a cup of tea or back in the warm, they're still out there doing it, which is what makes beekeeping so absolutely fascinating. Anyway, bear that in mind. These guys are old and they're coming to the end of their life. That's what we're hoping that they're going to be able to change and raise a new batch of brood for the spring to gather that spring crop. See you later.